1999 454 Chevrolet Big Block and we are adding the quick performance brackets to it so that we can add a 1992 front serpentine or serpentine whatever it's called drive uh, so we can have all one belt um, we're actually having problems with it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bracket off I'm going to show you how it fits up and I'm going to show you what the problems are and uh, go from there. there. All right, so originally these big blocks come with these big heavy front drive systems. Uh, I think 97 on up have a more different one that's probably not as heavy as this one. So, usually, you don't wanna have all this weight when you're doing this on a muscle car build or some kind of hybrid build. So that was the whole purpose of doing this right here. All right, so, with quick performance, you get one bracket for the passenger side. And you're gonna get two brackets. This is actually two for the driver's side. Then you get two brackets here. This side goes facing up. All the bolts, I had to buy all the bolts because the bolts that come with the package do not work for this engine. This is two brackets also. This goes facing up, you got two bolts. The one, everything that comes in the package does not work. So, uh, they are no, behind the water pump, they are no adapters or anything for that. It just sits on there. And then for your water pump, you have these little spacers which are, I've got two of the thickest ones on here already. And they're, it's not even hub centric, they just, I don't know if that'll be a problem, but, or maybe the bolts will keep it lined up. So, put the pulley back on. Then it comes with a spacer behind the lower harmonic balancer pulley. I'm not sure of the thickness of that, but it does come with that. And your bolts for the harmonic balancer that come with it will not work. You have to use your own or go buy some. I had to go buy some, Every, everything I had to buy here. So that's installed, everything you can see just for now, how these go. And the position, the directions are pretty good. Now I'm assuming if you've got a 1990 and older 454, this works the way it's supposed to. But I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this together so you can see what's behind the pulleys and how this does not work. All right, so we got the pulley uh, bracket back on. We're gonna just tighten it up, and then we're going to add the other side on. I'm going to show you pretty much how off it is. So this takes a nut and a bolt on the bottom, 
This side lines up perfect to the lower bracket. This side lines up perfect to all the brackets that go here. Everything on this side is the way it's supposed to be. Four bolting up, okay? All right, so you got the passenger side up. Snug that on there. This is snugged on there. If you watched my previous video, you know that when you're using the, the serpentine uh, brackets, you have to have a spacer or washers underneath here. If not, when you torque this down, you're gonna snap this whole part off. If you go back and look at my other video where I installed this, this is the part I'm talking about right here. That's where your smog pump was and it was like a spacer for that. So, and then you see how thin this is. So be careful with that. So here's the thing. It doesn't have the AC compressor on there. Everything else is on there. Everything bolted up. But now you can see how off that hole is right there, which is pretty off. Now, sure, I could drill it. Uh, I tried to flip the bracket upside down. It didn't work. And um, we're going to put the AC compressor back on. And then I'm going to put the belt on. And then I'll show you how much off it is. All right. So that's the belt pattern you want to use. Uh, when you're doing the reverse flow, that's not the reverse, it's the reverse rotation water pump. It's not reverse flow, reverse rotation. Uh, this is the same pattern that you would use in the F, F body, third gen Camaro or Trans Ams if you remove your smog pump, which this one has been removed. And just in case anybody was wondering, I know this side is black and this side is silver. That's because the customer still has to paint this side so the uh, quick performance right now is actually working to help us out on this issue because let me get a couple of rulers and then I'll show you one more time all right so from the from the power steering pump to the harmonic balancer I don't know if you can tell the gap, but it's an eighth away from the ruler. There you go, you can see it right there. It is one eighth away from the ruler. So it's off, not by much. So, um, like I said, uh, quick performance is helping us out on this. If you've had any problems with your setup, comment down below. Let us know what's going on. That way uh, others can also learn from what's going on or how to fix them. And then let's see what uh, quick performance can do to help us out on this. As... Uh, we need to get this going. But that's what your system should look like for the serpentine drive on a big block Chevy, which is way, way, way lighter than having these big giant cast iron parts. And I know that, uh, I believe 97 and up had the, had the aluminum brackets, but it was still really big and bulky, which you really don't want to use. Like I said, when you're doing some kind of hot rod build or hybrid swap or what have you. Uh, looks good. We just need it to work good now. And then we're going to start getting installed into the, uh, what is it, 85? 85 C10. All right, folks. Like, subscribe, share. It's the law.